Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel and to another video. If you are new here, my name is Jess, I go by Rosina on my channel and I create makeup looks and test out my creativity on my channel and I upload five days a week at 7 p.m. So welcome if you are new. Today I thought I would try and follow my favorite YouTubers everyday makeup look. So today I'm going to be following Jamie Genevieve's everyday makeup look. I love how her skin looks. She looks insane and there is no way I'm going to look anything like her, especially with my current skin situation. But I wanted to do my makeup the same way she does it. I probably won't have the exact same products as her, but I'm going to work with what I've got. So if you want to see me follow Jamie Genevieve's everyday makeup look, then just keep on watching. Okay, I'm gonna click play. So this is my new everyday makeup routine. Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I thought we could do an everyday makeup. This is a makeup look that I did yesterday actually and I got some really lovely comments about it and I tried out some new techniques that I have not done before but I absolutely loved it. I just thought it was so gorgeous and there was a couple of tips in there that I thought might help one of you guys. Okay, I'm gonna do my brows first so let's zoom you oh in. Oh my god. I had the tiniest little spot and I didn't leave it alone. And look what happened. Me. Don't pick your face. Just Me. Don't do it. Uh, I'm gonna start with my brows. I'm gonna use the 24 hour brow setter by Benefit. And the reason I'm doing this first Okay, I need to grab a different product. <laughs> okay, I don't I don't own the Benefit setting brow thing. So I'm gonna use my BFF one that I got in a birch box. So I'm just gonna go through my brows like she is. We'll see what happens. Because it's not messy, but I just love the way that this looks. I'm all about the big bushy brows. My last tutorial was just about brows and eyeliner. And you know what's funny? Those videos don't tend to do amazing. I just love sharing the, the tips and the techniques. So I really wanted to do a whole video in depth. So if you're wanting to really see how I do my brows these days, then go and watch that. But I'm gonna go through my, my brows with a- brow. My brows don't do what hers do. Like, maybe it's the way that I have plucked them and done them that just makes it that they don't fluff up like everyone else's do. I make sure the front's really fluffy. That's a good idea. Yeah, you can see they're super fluffy and then I'm going to go in with the flat side and really smooth my brows down. I literally did this look yesterday and I think it was like the nicest I've thought my makeup's looked in a really long time. No. I took a little bit more time than usual to really focus on the placement of my products. I thought more about the kind of the finished look in its entirety rather than just chucking makeup on, which I'm actually quite bad for. I just chuck makeup on. Cabrow by Benefit. I'm gonna use the little brush that comes on the top okay. of the lid. So you just turn it round. And it's just a really good brush. It's just tiny. And what I do now is I fill in the gaps. I just use the pomade right up to where my hairs are when they're, they're all stood up. And that's just gives the bushiest, most gorgeous brow. I'm my brows are not gonna be bushy. I don't know why, I just can't. I can't do the bushy brow. So I'm gonna go in with my Anastasia Dip Brow Pomade and just brush that through. Because my eyebrows look insane right now. Like they're all over the place. Someone help me. It also feels like I've got glue in my eyebrows with that product. Do I have got a block eyebrow on it? Yes, I do. Just gonna rub it out with my finger. This, I don't know how I feel. I think it's because I don't have the same products as her. This is just not how I would do my eyebrows. Perhaps I should've just done my eyebrows the way I usually do. But then I wouldn't be following her tutorial, would I? So. Okay, I look insane. I'm hoping I can save them with whatever next step she does. <laughs> I'm trying to channel like Brooke Shields with these brows right now. So you can see I've made a bit of a mistake here. I brought it too far down, but I'm just going to clean it up with concealer. Phew, we're cleaning up with concealer. look a lot heavier when I don't have any other makeup on. And I've also, so we're going to stay zoomed in so you can see everything I'm doing really clearly. Let me know if you like it. 
by the end of this tutorial if you like the way that we've done it today you can do that going forward okay the concealer i'm going to use today is the laura mercier this is the shade oh, 3M, i don't have that and i'm using my nose concealer really like it and i'm actually going to take the concealer and i'm going to carve out my brows so it's quite funny because i've got a natural brow but i'm going to carve them out which is definitely an old trick that we all used to do and this is a really great way to tidy them up and it does give a little bit of a lift Perfect. I'm also going to go around the top. I don't know whether she does. And then I'm just doing the same thing to the top. Oh, she has. See, it does just give a really nice and neat edge. Bring that tail up. And I'm not too worried about blending the concealer out right now because I can do that when I'm doing my foundation. I'm going to go in with my base next and do my eyes last because the eye makeup we're doing is carve up my eyebrows first and it's super heavy uh, so I'm going to use the Hollywood Flawless Filter in the shade 5 I've got a little bit of fake tan on at the moment so my face is a tiny bit paler than the rest of me I really love this product so this is my last hurrah at kind of everyday makeup for a bit I'm going to have she's not, some more kind of she's not put on primer do I not put on primer? I'm gonna go in with my hourglass on the back of my hand. I'm gonna go in two pumps. She barely wears any makeup. Like she's a makeup artist that barely wears any makeup. Colourful and grungy stuff coming up next, but I really wanted to show you this look. So this is just my last one, right? Okay, just give me this last one. I'm gonna use the NARS Natural Radiant Longwear in the shade Barcelona. Oh, I'm really liking enough. their new soft matte foundation as well. Uh, I'm just using my Smith 115 brush. I have that brush. On. I don't know what my favourite part of doing my makeup is. I think it might be doing my base, you know. Straight away, you can see that the colour is really nice. And mixing the NARS with the Charlotte Tilbury is a really beautiful finish that you get. I never use brushes, so this feels a bit weird. And this is a bit more of a fuller coverage foundation than what she's using. I've got loads of like products in the back of my hand because I've gone in with the amount that I would go in with and she goes in with a hell of a lot less. So that feels a bit weird. So let's use our concealer. Same concealer as I used for around my brows. I definitely do I my use concealer a little bit more targeted than I used to. So I can see that I've got dark circles here, here, there. I do like a little bit in the centre of my face, but I'm not going to my smile lines. I've got some blemishes on my chin. And I do just like highlight in the centre of my face a little bit with the concealer and just adding the coverage right in the middle. And I'm just going to pat it out to start with. And I let the concealer sit under my eyes just for a little second before we pat that out too. Add some real brightness under the eye, which is nice. And then if you just bring that concealer up, it's got a kind of slight lifting effect on the face, which is nice. I do just use my foundation brush. I think I'm just so used to doing makeup on my own face that I can use a larger brush to do my concealer. This brush is really nice and dense as well, so you can still get right in there and pat it out. If you were being super precise about it, you might want to use a smaller brush. So I think that's lovely. I would say we've got medium coverage. Skin still looks like skin, which is nice. I'm going to use my... Bear with me, please, Jamie. <laughs> it's actually a really nice... Like amount of product that she's using. I bet I've got loads of like speckles. Oh, I haven't. How the hell have I managed that? The whole reason I don't use brushes is because I end up with like speckly skin that's like all streaky. So that's quite nice to know. I have that powder. A Tilbury Ear Brush Flawless Finish Powder in the shade number two. I think this oh, is such a one. beautiful pressed powder and I do use it pretty much every day unless I'm trying out something new but as far as pressed powders go this is my favourite and I'm just doing my usual spots which is the areas of my face that tend to move the most so around my mouth because I'm 
that were chatterbox. The main trick that I got really excited about was uh, with my bronzer. Bronzer is probably one of my favourite makeup products. I love the way it can change the shape of my face. I think because I've naturally got quite a round face, I do like to kind of slightly shape and define my face and bronzers are a great way to do that. So I have here the Becca Sunlit Bronzer in the shade I Pen in My Sun. So you can see it's a nice tone. It's not too dark. I'm going to start by bronzing like normal, which uh, and I like to keep it up nice and high. I've not powdered my skin. So I just take sheer layers. If you're ever worried about how much product's on your brush, just get your hand and pat it out. And I'm going to start at the back here and work my way onto my cheeks to start getting a little bit of a bronze. Oh my god, she's gorgeous. How the hell does she do this? But that's a really good tip of like dusting off your product on your hand to see how much is on your brush. And it's definitely where I got it from with like the higher up bronzer. It's super high. I was looking at photos on Instagram and I came across this girl that um, someone had tagged me uh, and said that I looked really like her. She was getting her makeup done. She was, <laughs> I just realised what I've done. Someone said that I really looked like her and she just is a model. She happens to be a model. She's she's a model and there was a similarity in the way that we looked. I think it was her eyes. But she also had quite a similar face shape to me and I noticed she was getting her makeup done and the makeup artist had kept our bronzer super high on the cheeks, which is the way I like to do it. But where I would usually stop, which is right now, I carried it down naturally to where my mouth is. Because what I've realised is the way that I do my bronzer, it's really nice and lifting, but it makes my jaw and my chin look quite big. Whereas if I bring the bronzer onto my face, it kind of pushes it back a little bit. I'm going to do my forehead, just this couple of sweeps. I'm going to go under my nose and the sides. And I am really lazy with my nose contour. I just pretty much warm up my nose. I don't really correct it too much, I just leave it as it is. I'm gonna go in with blush now. My God, she's gorgeous. Why can't I have makeup like that? I'm giving it my best shot today. And I wanted to show you guys that just because people do this, you don't necessarily need the exact same products to create the same look. You can create a similar look with the products that you already own. Use the MAC blush in the shade Melba. Uh, I loved this blush Use when I uh, worked on clients. I'm just going to pat that in. Again, keeping it super high, but coming onto the apples of the cheeks a little bit more than I maybe usually would. I really do like patting my blush on to disperse it. And we've got my nose. Okay, so this. I'm going to do my blush. I love her videos. I feel like they flow like so much. Like, I feel like my videos don't really flow. I feel like I suddenly stop talking for like 20 minutes and then I'll suddenly start again. So I'm trying to like take some advice from her. I've not done in a really long time, but I'm going to take my Laura Mercier Loose Powder, TLSP, what's it actually stand for? Translucent Loose Setting Powder in the shade Honey. And I have a little sponge here, I'm sure this is from e.l.f. And I'm going to go in with my powder. I'm going to bake just slightly. And she what I'm going to do is I'm going to pinch up these cheekbones and then let it drop. So I have seen so many people bake and I just copied them, right? I just copied the way that they did it, but the way that they did it is detrimental to my face, face shape. So by keeping it up super high here, which is, we like, we all like this, it's very lifting, but by letting it drop down, I'm getting that chisel, but if I was to bring my powder all the way to my mouth, my chin just sticks out, do you know what I mean? And I'm not gonna go under my eyes or anything like that. I'm pretty much just doing this for the color um, and the cleanup. And I'm gonna take a brush and just, do you see what I mean? I think you'll be able to really see when I zoom out if you're wanting to go a little bit extra, which I am partial to. I'm gonna go back in with the bronzer and a little brush. This is the Smith 112. It's more of a contour brush, but I also really like this for powder. And I'm gonna go in with that product and I'm gonna Slightly darken. Oh, do you see what I mean? I'm going to go slightly under my chin as well. So see if I go back, you can see I've got this high cheekbone, but from the front, I've still got colour in the front of my face, which, yeah, I really like. I really like. Okay, I'm going to set all that in place. Because I've used a loose powder, I just want everything to kind of merge together. So I'm going to use the Urban Decay All Nighter. I have a setting spray. I miss using setting sprays. 
like i used to love a good setting spray and now i don't use one anymore i think i just need to like repurchase one i think that that's that's quite a good idea jess you can't really use one if you don't have one i really like the way this makes my face look so yeah oh fresh <laughs> And then something that. that really locks on your makeup is to take a little bit more powder. You can use your loose powder or your pressed and just pounce that over your face after the setting spray. It's just one more extra layer. Everything's going to stay in place. Okay, I'm going to use the Vive Holy Chic Nova Glow Highlighter, especially for my everyday makeup because oh, that's when I'm really testing out the products. Oh my god, I want her highlighter. Makeup! I want to test out the Vive line because it does look really good. I'm gonna go in with my MAC Soft and Gentle Mineralized Skin Finish. And that's just gonna go in the same places as her. For everyday wear, and I was sneaky wearing them all the time. I just so wanted to share them. I'm using the Nova Glow Highlight and it's just super creamy, buttery highlighted goodness. And what I like about it so much is the fact that it is a beautiful highlight that gives you a really strong result, but like, you really can't see it unless you're unless you turn your head or you're looking for it it's just so smooth and gorge now part of this look is obviously super inspired with the brows and the eyes i'm going to do it's quite inspired by 90s makeup so i really love a little enhancing my little freckle prime my eyes with a little touch of concealer pat that out we're using the same concealer that was underneath the brows so it all just matches in there's no real harsh lines anymore my eyelid skin is different than it was when I was 21. I swear I can tell the difference. I'm getting old. So for our eyes, I'm gonna use the Vive Essential Palette. I really want to show you guys this look because it is a lot lighter and a lot more everyday than all the other looks that I've showed you. And I'm gonna go for a cool toned eye today. Ooh. There's something so gorgeous and a bit sassy about a cool toned smoky eye. Whenever I, I think of cool toned smoky eyes, I always think of Chloe Morello, always. She loves cool tones. So I'm gonna go in with the shade Lava Rock just here. And I'm gonna just- Okay, I need to find that a color like that. <laughs> So I don't actually have that palette, but I do have this shade, the suede shade in the Rose Gold Remastered, so I'm going to hope it's kind of similar. Patting that on my lid with a slightly denser fluffy brush, and I've got concealer on. I've not set it, so it's just going to stick. Oh my god, this colour, fun fact, fun V fact, this was one of the first colours that I approved and finished and it was one of the first colours that I started wearing on my eyes. And I think because cool tones are a little bit rarer, when I did wear it, I got so many comments about it. So I'm just going right in with that and then starting to blend that into my crease but I'm going to use something else to help blend it. But it's a, a beautiful kind of cool toned brown with a slight, a tiny touch of purple in there. I'm going to go in with the shade buff now, which... No, <laughs> not yet. So I don't know if that's the same co colour. I think it's similar, but we will see when the whole looks together. I do quite like that. I never use cool toned browns. I always use a warm tone. I really wish my skin looked a bit better today. This is definitely where it gets more difficult with like matching the style with the colour so I've gone in with that brown and I'm hoping it's similar to what she's got and then she's gone in with like a yellowy shade. Warmer but when it's mixed with lava rock it doesn't give a warm smoky eye and I'm going to go in with a big brush and we're just going to wash over that and start to blend it out. And I I'm going to go in with the shade Carbonara because it's similar, very similar to that like colour that she's using. And she's just going like all over it. I just want this to be more of a wash of colour, nothing too intense or serious. I don't want it built up too much. But you can see there, we're starting to get a really smooth blend. Super easy. I'm almost going right over where we put Lava Rock and then I'm going in with the buff and we're buffing that out. Can you see why I called buff buff? Oh my god, a cool tone smoke here. I flipping love it. I'm just going to put a wee bit more Lava Rock in the outer corners, just there, so it's not so round. I'm going to go in with an angle brush in the shade Goodnight, which is this black, and I'm just going to gently stamp on a tiny little wing liner. So I don't think it's going to look exactly like hers, but we're going to get as close as we can with the products that we have. I 
I do like how my skin and everything looks today like with this makeup so that's quite good considering my skin is having a mental breakdown at the minute so she's going in with the black so I'm gonna go in so I'm gonna go in with black truffle and just create like a small wing Your regrets create a nice skinny liner if you just use your angle brush and the flat side it pretty much does the wing for you it's really easy and something i really like about this look is i don't do anything underneath my eyes i'm keeping it all on the top i'm upset i finished my urban decay lash freak and that's what i really wanted to use but alas so i've got a new bambi eye false lash mascara i really like this mascara as well this is a l'oreal paris one okay i feel a bit scared about the fact that she's not going in with bottom mascara so we will see how that goes that looks a bit crazy i think she's also going in with false eyelashes so we'll see I'm going to really focus the mascara on the inner corner because I'm going to do a little half lash. And when you're doing a half lash, you just need to really work your mascara right here, right at the front, just so everything blends in nicely. Catty lashes, TLG. I don't have eyelashes, so I'm just going to go in with my mascara. So this is going to be weird because I won't have any bottom mascara on. It's such a nice lash for a natural look. So I'm cutting them even smaller than I used to. Do you need a tiny little half lash? When you're only using a tiny little bit of your lash, I would literally just keep these, stick them back in, and you can use them for something else later. Quite delighted quite delighted with that. Okay, let's just keep you zoomed in and we'll do our lips. So I cannot stay away from this combo. I'm going to use the Vive Modern Matte Lipstick in the shade Treasure. I'm going to put it on first because I really love the creaminess for when I'm doing my liner. So this is Treasure. It is a peachy pale nude. Oh, so I love that colour, that is gorgeous. Okay, so you can see it's very pale. I definitely want a liner with this. So I'm going to use the Modern Lip Definer in the shade Bark and I'm going to now this is a lot darker but all you have to do is a little bit of blending and the finished effect is I'm gonna grab my I don't think I'm going to be able to create the same look but I'm gonna try something so I'm gonna go with my Huda Beauty lipstick which actually broke and I'm fuming about but there's nothing I can do about it so I'm gonna go in with that on my lips And then I'll go in round it with a lip liner, which I think is about the same colour. I don't think I have a darker one. And because I've done my lipstick first, you can just draw straight on the lip and it kind of just starts to blend itself. Something else I'm really liking is a proper defined cupid's bow. So I'm going to go up so I'm and not. overdraw my cupid's bow. And that is the finished look. Let's do it. Okay, right, so this is my finished look following what she was doing. And I actually really, really like it. Let me know down below what you think. Do you think it's worked out all right? Do you think it didn't? Do you think it suits me? Do you think it doesn't? Let me know down below. Give this video a big thumbs up if you did enjoy today's video. Also, comment below any other videos you want to see me do. Any other YouTuber videos you want to see me follow. I will do that for you guys. And if you haven't already, don't forget to subscribe to my channel. I do upload on a Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday and a Friday at 7pm. So if you don't want to miss that, don't forget to subscribe. And I hope you have a lovely evening and I will see you tomorrow. Bye guys.